Welcome to Dr. Drew Live. Our phone number is 888-373-9502. We've got an interesting hour coming up. We're going to be speaking with um, Mark Bunker, Gareth Kales. Is that how you pronounce the last name? Kales and Tori Chrisman. They are either part of an organization called Anonymous, which has been protesting the Church of Scientology for some time, or themselves having been church members that have sort of, what they call it, blown, gotten out. And I, I actually don't have a very strong opinion about any of this, so I'm just interested in, in what's going on here. I don't fully understand it. I do have intolerance of two things. I have intolerance of cults, but I also have intolerance of paranoia. So if people are just being paranoid about these people because they're in a cult or whatever, or they feel, make them feel insecure, I, I don't know. I'm on a fact-finding mission. I'm very interested in all this, though. It's, it's, a, it's a really interesting topic. Again, the number here is 888-373-9502. So we're going to go from this Texas compound conversation to talk about another cult. We're going to talk about Scientology. And I'm going to go on a little fact-finding mission here um, and talk to people who are critical of that organization. I, I don't have a strong opinion. I, I, I have opinion about coercion. I have opinion about restriction of personal freedoms and rights. And if indeed that's going on, then I'll have an opinion about these people, but I don't care what people believe necessarily. I have a problem with paranoia, and if I find that our criti- critics here are in fact paranoid, I'll have a problem with them too. So we'll see. Back with them after this. Welcome back to Dr. Drew Live. We're going to go on a little fact-finding miss- mission here today. We're going to start out by talking to Mark Bunker. He's a television producer, former radio personality, and he's been a critic of Church of Scientology. He runs something called Xenu TV. What are you here for? Uh, my name is Mark Bunker, and I'm here because... Uh, I didn't I get your name, I'm sorry. Mark, Mark Bunker. Bunker. Mark? Uh, I have a website called xenutv.com, and uh, it's a place where you can watch video from around the world of uh, different broadcasts from America, from England, from Germany. Okay. Folks who have explored the uh, criminal activities of Scientology. Frankly, you can believe oh. that Xenu stuffed you in a volcano and so blew you up 75 million this. years ago, and that's acceptable to this me. This is nothing I, new. Yes. Let's ask you, what do you really care about? What do what I you, care about? You work? I care Why about a woman here? who was uh, trying to leave Scientology, who was locked into a room for 17 days in Clearwater, Florida, in the Fort Harrison Hotel. But why in are those you 17 here? days, so here's the thing. she lost 40 pounds, was covered with cockroach bites, and died. Okay, but why are you here? That's why reason enough. That is Mark Bunker. Mark, thanks for joining us. Thank you. So was that Tori Chrisman, the other? That was the, my very first encounter with Tori. Tori is going to be on this show in about 20 or 30 minutes. And uh, tell us how you got involved with something called Xenu TV. I love, I'm sorry, I couldn't help but laughing, but I, I love your your uh, your s- statement there about how you don't care about it, what other people believe, and they're, they're free to believe if Xenu stuffed them in a volcano 75 million years ago. That's a fine, that's fine. Right, yeah, I mean, people have the right to believe that. Yeah. I, I believe I have the right to think it's silly. But I'm not going to stop anyone from, from believing in it. However, uh, I feel that people should have all the information when they get into Scientology. And, and what is that? Things that are hidden away. What do they need to know? Well, first, they, they need to know that it's all building up to these upper level, top secret uh, material that, that, uh, that deals with an evil intergalactic overlord named Xenu. Well, you can, you, I, re- I recommend people watch the South Park episode because and, it's, and it's they all have there. It almost exactly right. It's on your website too, on Zenu TV, right? Yeah. That episode. Yeah. I, I laughed my butt off when I saw that. It was and, and flashing at the bottom of the screen while they're telling you the mythology. It's flashing up there. This is what they actually believe. Right. <laughs> Which is but kind of funny. Here's the tricky part about it, though, because if you talk to the rank and file members of Scientology, they will tell you, no, that's not what they believe. And for most of them, it's true because they haven't reached that material yet. And until they do. They're not allowed to hear about it. Mm-hmm. Um, they, they are told that they will catch pneumonia and die if they're exposed to that material without being prepared. Interesting. And being prepared in Scientology terms is a slow indoctrination into how Scientology thinks. Your, your reality is being stripped away from you, and it's being replaced by L. Ron Hubbard's reality. Mm-hmm. So it's so, a mind control uh, it, technique. Yeah, in essence, if you were to just uh, walk into a Scientology center and, and say, well, what do you believe in? Well, we believe you're stuffed into a volcano, and you're covered with dead space aliens. You'd say, okay, thanks, I'm leaving. Right. 
So instead, when you meet Scientology, they'll tell you, oh, it's completely compatible with any other religion. Here, we can help you with your, your life. We can improve your marriage, your relationship with your kids. We can help you make more money. Do they? Do they stress. help with things like that? They do have courses. But, I mean, are people helped by this organization? I mean, ultimately, you know, people are allowed to believe what they want, but right. if, if something works for somebody, we shouldn't necessarily be critical, should we? Well, we, we don't have to be critical about stuff that works, but we do have to be wary of the fact that this is uh, a, a, a business cloaked as a religion where they are going to hard sell you these courses, get you on the bridge to total freedom, as they call it, and really take over your life. Let, let um, me just, again, I have lots of questions. Is it different than EST or LifeSpring or what was the other kind well, of programs that were like that? My understanding is EST actually uh, evolved from Scientology. It was a, a former Scientologist who started that and used some of uh, L. Ron Hubbard's principles. Huh. And he was viciously attacked by Scientology as what they call a squirrel, someone who takes L. Ron Hubbard's technology and, and alters it. Um, but uh, there, there is a little bit of Scientology basis in, in some of those programs. Interesting. And, and, and I would say that if people want to, you know, follow Scientology and, and believe in L. Ron Hubbard, they certainly are welcome to. There's, a, there's a, a, a big movement outside of organized Scientology called the Free Zone. And those people are, are people who believe in Hubbard, but they, they think that the current management of the church is corrupt. And they have gone off to to continue doing their auditing, and this is um, Scientology's form of therapy. And um, they, you know, they deal with Xenu and all this stuff too. But they aren't harming anybody. They they aren't um, causing disconnection in families where they Scientology will systematically break up families if mm -hmm. uh, if one member is really hardcore into the group and the other one is, is, is you know hesitating. Well, in Scientology's world, they say, just, you know, get rid of them. Cut them off. Uh, I interviewed two dentists in Chicago, a married pair who were um, defrauded out of $100,000 by, uh, by Scientology. And the husband started to be disaffected. And the wife really was hard into this stuff. And they told him, listen, you've lived millions of lifetimes before. You've had millions of husbands in the past. You're going to have millions of husbands in the future because they believe in reincarnation. So dump them. Do you them. do you have any personal experience with this group with Scientology? No, I was never a member. And what I, got I think, you? What I got, think it's kind of outrageous what they get away with. What got you on the warpath? Well, you know, I, I hate to think of it as a warpath. Um, it, it really is just kind of a uh, an an interesting combination of some of my fascinations. Uh, um, science fiction. You always Hollywood liked. Mm -hmm. and cults all kind of gathered together in this one group in a unique way. Right. Were you ever a member of a cult or anything yourself? No. It was interesting the way uh, Tori was trying to spin it back on you. I'm, I'm not trying to do the same thing, but I'm just curious about motivation. And she, she was trying to take the conversation away from questions about Scientology, which she didn't care about, to try and indoctrinate you. Right. Well, absolutely. L. Ron Hubbard said, always attack, never defend. And if you watch some of my other videos, uh, you'll see that uh, a, a constant refrain from the Scientologists are, what are your crimes? Come on, Mark, spit them out. You must have crimes. What are they? It's because L. Ron Hubbard said that anyone who criticizes Scientology is a criminal, and all they have to do is dig up their crimes to silence them. Have you actually been attacked by the organization? Uh, yeah, I'm, I've had uh, my house picketed. I've had a guy come after me with a hammer, uh, and I was arrested in Chicago while I was trying to interview those two dentists I talked about. Uh, they they had hired two off-duty police officers to wait for me, and, and in the two hours prior to me showing up uh, outside their building with the dentists, they had been telling these officers what a horrible criminal I was, how dangerous I was, how, how I was going to, you know, shoot up the building or whatever and and they whip these officers into a frenzy so by the time i i i walked up to the front of the building and i wasn't going inside i was just going to shoot a little bit of the interview outside the building uh these cops came running out of the door between the two dentists grabbed me by either arm and arrested me in like 30 seconds on a public sidewalk for trespassing and it cost my boss like fifty thousand oh dollars to God. defend me and the, the jury found me not guilty in 25 minutes because I was not guilty.
Wow. But, I mean, this is the length that Scientology will go to. Do you think that some of the problems with the organization that